let's take a look at this. So, like I said, uh, famous variation. Hyokin variation, main line. Knight f3 is the main line. Of course, if you want to play the four pawns, the more aggressive you can, but your king is a little weak. But anyway, knight f3 totally solid, and that's why everybody today plays c6. And then bishop e2, they're playing bishop f5 or knight d7, and you know, stuff like this we don't trade, and they go like this. Tall to not play into it, right? That's the classic. That's why this line has a lot of folklore and a lot of mythology to this line because if the great tall didn't play into it, it it shows how crazy it is he was looking at it but knight of seven and nowadays nowadays is is you know when you have the, the blowfish telling you plus one it's a lot easier uh than in tall's day but but you gotta think that the knight of seven is objectively the best move with the with the king with the king on f7 and e6 it's very fried liver Again, that's why c6 first. Well, okay, so now take, take, check, king e6, and, ob and of course you have to play c4. You don't have time for something like this, because he just he just tucks his king under the covers. So we got to play c4 and really go for it. Uh, this move is, is no good. Um, oh, no, I mean, did he? Yeah, we, well, this move you just take. Oh, the piece, right? So, okay, so he plays knight f6. And there's really no other move than queen f7. Um, you know, one of the, the problems is that if you play bishop f4, he plays e5, and I believe he takes with the king. Yeah, and, and you're just losing. So, so, I mean, if you're looking at this for the first time, uh, you know, the queen is hanging, he's getting out, and... Queen f7 is not an easy move. I would imagine that Tall had to have seen Queen e7, and he just wasn't sure with all the complications, especially Larson preparing the variation, um, whether c5 works and all that. But you got to play Queen f7 to cut the king, threaten mate, basically. Um, so, like, the point is if Queen e8, then it's mate, right? Check and mate. Right, something like this. And mate. Alright, so that's why after queen f7 he must play knight e5. It's funny, computer says knight c5. It's kind of a sad move because then b4. That's not a move that any human's gonna play. The main line is knight uh, e5 and now bishop f4. Now I had a bullet match once, I believe in my 24 hour bullet match, 660 game match, I believe that this line came up sometimes, so. So I have some uh, <laughs> some experience in, uh, in this match and uh, in this, in this line. Obviously, c5 is the threat for me and the take here. So if he goes g5, we just play c5. Um, here we take, and if he if he takes here, then obviously white is better in all the variations. You know, pawn up, king in the center. So 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 the move c5 is the theoretical move. Uh, but, you know, white really needs to know what's going on. As you can see, I played it all perfect with knight c3 and b4. So that's some very specific deep knowledge. I, I thought that he was going to play a6. He has to play a6. So that's why knight c3 is a good move. Gets the rook out into the game. You could maybe, maybe play... Yeah, I didn't do it right after b4. So I'm threatening this, so he has to do something. So b4, and you know, I mean, I, I I just don't see how I'm supposed to see the move b5 there. Makes <laughs> It makes literally no sense to me, like at all. I, I can't believe that that's the right move. I thought I would play rook b1. Uh, no, Andromeda, it makes no sense to me. You You want structure, I'm worried about you know, move like a5. If it makes sense to you, then it doesn't make sense to anyone else because you're just you're just that mocked. Uh, I really don't understand the move b5 at all. So b5, a5, what's the threat? You know, I mean, queen e8 is always coming, right? 
Yeah, I don't understand. So B5, let's say A5. Yeah, and you can see the computer is... I don't know why it suggests B5, because it seems to be wrong. Uh, yeah, and so Andromeda, the problem for you is that you worship the blowfish. And so whatever it says, you bow down to and you believe. And so it said B5, so it makes all this sense. Andromeda, you're down a piece. You're down a piece. We're not putting our pawns in a little nice formation like it's Connect 4 or Tic-Tac-Toe. What the hell is the matter with you? Seriously, we're down a piece. Oh, 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 oh. We're down a piece. Yeah, so stop putting your pawns in a little tic-tac-toe. And, 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 and I talk about it all the time, Chess Rule. And, and, you know, so don't tell me it makes all the sense in the world. You didn't understand, you know. This is not gaining space, okay? If you pay attention to the damn game, you will see that we sacked a piece on move six. It's the whole point of this attack. Do you really think that we get this attack and we're not down anything for it? Well, then there wouldn't be interesting. It would just be a massacre. So there's no interest unless we're actually down something. Otherwise, it's easily winning for us. Okay, so like I don't understand. After B6, the computer's just is the computer's just. Um, I think Rook B1 is the move, but yeah, I, I I don't know. I guess not. He could take. Yeah, I mean the problem is that he's taking and playing G5, and 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 then you're dealing with. Rook G7, and th this is the type of stuff that Tal was was afraid was afraid probably why he didn't want to go into this stuff because it's a it's a, you know it's it's a, it's a it's a real maze. Like I know about Knight C3 and B4, but after this, I would really need time to think about. I would really need time to think about you know what I'm going to do next. I know it's. I, I, I don't know why it's suggesting B5, because B5 is a terrible move. Yeah, B, C, but, you know, Lucy, that's allowing for Queen A5. Um, yeah, I, I think this was the main line, but, but again, what's your idea, Lucy? Because he's getting Queen A5 in. You know, I, B5 is bonkers. I don't understand why... You know what? 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 What are you doing? I, okay, I guess it's going for this. I suppose. I mean that. Okay, that gives me some indication that it's playing for no, but it's going for. Con it has to have something concrete, or else it doesn't make any sense. But it was wrong in the evaluation. But you know, it's going for take and d6 or something. Uh, like G5, I would imagine we're winning. Take and D6. Most guys would play G5 here. And this, this is pretty fascinating. Um, uh, right? Yes. I mean, this is pretty intense. Uh, uh, well, I mean, if he takes, then it's made, I, I guess. I mean, you know, we're sacking a queen now. You guys know how beautiful this line is. This line is unbelievable. This line is so amazing. Look at this. So this this B5 is not clear, but look at the look at the beauty of this move. This move is unbelievably beautiful, and, and no one's ever found. I guarantee you that, that no one's. This is the first time this position has ever occurred. In, in 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 chess, rookie four. I, no one knows. I mean, I would be shocked if anyone knew this. And mate, wow. I mean, that's just not you know. I mean, that is amazing. Rook c4. And I'm not just saying it. I mean, it really is amazing. If you don't think it's amazing, I suggest you do something else uh, rather than play chess. Because if you don't appreciate that, then I don't know what to tell you. Uh, yeah, uh, so, so, d6, d6 is the idea, and if he takes here, check, obviously this is mate too, check and mate, right, so here, here, check, take, 
and mate. So that's the idea of B5. Now whether or not, now that move B5 is is so mocked, then it's, the idea is to take, and if he takes here, we're playing queen e6. Uh, but, you know, let's say a5 again, castles. g5 loses. Take, take, d6. And I, I, I just, yeah. Okay, here. Yeah, he, yeah, you just destroy his, his, his blockade. Yeah, b5 was obvious, right, Andromeda? Okay, so g5, take, take, d6. If I say a move doesn't make sense to me, you should, you should pay attention. You shouldn't... Oh, it makes sense to me. It doesn't make sense to you. It makes sense. It makes sense to me. He gives bishop d3 instead of b5. Oh, it'll go on Patreon. Don't worry. Ah, uh, yeah, and and then the rooks are. Yeah, the rooks are just flowing here. Wow. I mean, that, what is going on? Okay, yeah, this is unbelievable. Ah. Uh, okay, but. Yeah, so b5, let's say he plays queen e8. Right, always this move knight e4, which wins a piece. Um, because, again, we win the queen. So he has to go back here, then, oh, mate, wow. Wow, mate, I didn't see this man. That's why this line is something else, huh? Mate. Alright, so... B5 is pretty mocked, okay. Castle. Is G6 the only move? Probably. Is this winning too? No. Queen E8. I'd have to calculate. There's a lot of stuff going on. Bishop D3 is winning because this is now winning. Okay. Okay, so castles g6. What's the difference? What's the difference between g6 and g5? g5, just so you know, was forced mate after d6. But some reason, g6 is different. I would imagine because he has a check. That's the chess problem-like difference. And I'm right that it's because he has a check. So, again, this is very important. If you want to try and understand a variation, you don't memorize. You have to understand why. So, I am trying to understand why. And I told you that G5 doesn't work out because of this mate. And there's some, there's some very uh, key graphic variations, such as Queen D5. <laughs> and this, this is pretty graphic, right? Um, yes. But now, g6, and I think this is the move that the blowfish missed. Um, it has this bishop h6 with the idea of rook f8, which, which puts a, a white's attack kind of, kind of on hold. Because now white has to address some problems. He, he, and and this queen d5 sacrifice no longer works because of the checks. No, because of the checks. And there's rook f2 at the end. So if we wanted to do the same variation. Oh, this is just me. Yeah, sorry. I wanted to try this. But this this is also me. Yeah, I forgot that he, he can't take here. Yeah. But, uh. But yeah, here. Um. Why is king takes d6? Uh, winning now. As opposed to with g5, I'm trying to understand. Like this exact position with the pawn on g5. Oh, I see. He would never have gotten... He would have never attacked the, the queen. So that's how you think of it. So like if he plays g5, this variation never, never occurs. Because he never gets this with check, and he never gets rook f8. So, so he's just down a tempo. So it never happens. Does that make sense, everybody? Uh, well, then follow along. Take, 
You might learn something. Uh, okay, so G6. Take, take. D6. Check. King here. Rook F8. And that looks like... That looks like... That looks like it it holds. I suppose. F4. Obviously not here. Uh, but... Okay, take. And I guess... Here he has rook g8, so we gotta go. And he survives. And he survives. Here. Here. We get some material back, I suppose. Check. Take. And, yeah, it's about an even game. But I don't think this b5 move works because of g6. So the computer was misevaluating, but again, this move is so suspicious to me. It's, it seems like you're you're closing lines. So, so Wesley gave Bishop D3 here. Bishop D3 is, I think, I believe what I analyzed. Yeah, Bishop D3 is strong. Yeah, I don't know what B5. I think Bishop D3 makes makes total sense. And again. There's no queen e8, which I misunderstood because of knight e4. Uh, this is a, a key move, knight e4. So, so the queen remains. So if the queen remains, then the move bishop d3 is very nice. And it just looks like... I don't know, it must be in something he analyzed somewhere. And if he takes here, then, then knight e4. So we're getting to the bottom of this variation. And you guys get a kind of a glimpse into how I try and understand variations. Um, yeah, and this take or take and d6, and that's gonna be that's gonna be all over. Like rook b8, wow, well, castle long, it's all over. <laughs> Mate. So, yeah, bishop d3 is the best move, I'm convinced. Uh, 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 Bishop d3, I'm convinced, is the right move. Knight e4, take, take. And, uh, uh, and that's it. Yeah, take, take, d6. Obviously, this is mate. Mate a million ways. Okay, uh, Um, so yeah, so bishop d3, g5, bishop g3, bishop h6, knight e4, check, take, bishop takes e4. Um, he plays rook f8, queen takes. He's winning. Castle. We get castled and rookie, rookie one. He plays queen f8, queen h5. He's just not able to break this pin. Really, it's just too much for him. Yeah, then we open up the lines over here. And then we take here. Then we're attacking over here. So it's an eternal pin, really, and he, he can't really break it. And this, and this really... This really gets to the bottom of this variation. So I'm going to go so, so as far as say this line is totally busted uh, for black. And now we see why. Here, knight c3, a6, b4, b6, bishop d3. Not to mention that we can always play this for the once in a lifetime opportunity to get this variation. D6, take, check, 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 take, and rook c4. But yeah, so that's, bishop d3 is very strong and he's just not going to be getting out of here in time. And we're, we're, we're winning in this position. Queen f8, queen h5, queen e8, queen e8, queen f3. He's not getting out in time. Rook b1. 
king c7, queen c3. Yeah, he can't, he can't break this pin. Queen c3 again. Okay, let's see the game. B4, B6, knight a4. Yeah, g5 he should have played. I felt he got to go for this and bishop h6 to get that rook f8 threat. And when I take here, why not this? Oh, because knight c8. And then this. And this. Right. Wow. Okay. So yeah, he needed to do this. And then like this variation is nuts. The queen remains trapped. And now here it escapes with the hair raising complications. Can't do this because we take. I, actually, no, we can't take because then queen e6. And, 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 and white is making a draw. Uh, this would be made almost. So yeah, rook b1 and then king c5. Yes. And rook f8. <laughs> king d4. Wow, look at this line. This line is something. Again, this is what, you know, who knows what Tall saw in his mind. What convinced him not to do it. But can you imagine some of the things going through his mind when he's looking in this position? And, you know, imagine without computers, too. You don't have the, the luxury of... What an incredible line. Uh, but anyway... I played rook b1 and now and now I and now I was winning and now I was winning uh, bc and then rook b6 and I won very cleanly take take yeah take and then I was crushing surprisingly it's still no it's not playable take this is totally over Queen H8 would have been nice to do it immediately. I had it now, but I didn't see it yet. Now I saw it here, Queen D8. So a nearly perfect game for me, except for Knight A4, whereas Bishop D3 is the winning move, which we understand now. I understand it. I hope some of you understand it. It's very complicated in Delver. You're just tuning in, B5. The idea of b5 if you're just tuning in after a5 it looks ridiculous but computer thinks it was winning by force but it's not after the move g6 it is but the move g5 it's not i'm sorry after the move g5 it is but the move g6 it's not g6 you need to check so here you need the check b6 and you need you need this check and there's no, and you know, you're, you're getting out, you're getting, you're, you're getting out here. Okay, but if you play g5, which is the more obvious move, uh, then, then bishop takes e5, take d6, and if he takes here, then we have the spectacular finish check here, and queen d5 double exclaim which really is this unbelievably beautiful move take rook e4 take pawn takes and mate so great line great game very exciting hope you guys enjoyed that thanks for that and let's let's move on what we might do